Welcome back, this is Balloscopo with more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I am joined, as always, by my Magicite-equipped squad of Lamia, Luke, Glenn, and Elvis. When we last left off, I was in the town of Zozo, or just outside Zozo. I have walked all the way back to Jidor, which is where we are now. I was going to wait to show off the magic points and explain that system until we actually got into a battle where we earned magic points, but because I did walk back to Jador off screen, some people have learned some magic already, so I might as well go over it now. As a result of having these equipped, right? Kirin, you learn Cure at times five, Cure two at times one, Regen at times three, Antidote at times four, and Scan at times five. As you see, uh, as I have earned a total of 13 magic points. That's what the times one is, so 13 times one, 13 times three, 13 times five. That's how that works out. At the end of each battle, we get anywhere from one to 10 magic points. So, those magic points are then multiplied by the learn rate, and then when you get to 100%, you learn the skill. So, Lamia here is still trying to learn Cure 2, Regen, and Scan. She'll be trying to learn Cure 2 for quite some time, I can guarantee that. But, other people have learned some skills already. I believe, yes, Luke has learned Mute and Sleep already. Very close to learning Slow and Fire as well. Siren is very good for learning things, as you can see. Um, so that's how those work on top of getting the bonuses per level up. Um, I'll, I'll try to show that off when we finally do get into a battle, but just know that I have uh, been using those this whole time. I don't, I don't think anybody else has learned anything. Oh, no. Uh, Glenn here has learned Bolt. And I think that is it. That, that could be it. Yeah. Very close to learning Muddle, though. No. But that is all that we have learned. We are back in Jador for a reason, pretty much because we don't have any place else to go. So we need to figure out how to get to the Empire. That's where we last left off. We need to head into the big building here, to Owser's house. We need to talk to Owser himself. Well, we need to talk to the Impresario. Maria! No. No talking to me? Sorry, my mistake. Wow, you can mistake Maria. You could pass for Maria in a heartbeat. Oh boy, now I really am in trouble. The hell? Lamia looks just like Maria. I'm not sure if I see it. Is she striking a pose? I think that's a pose. Lamia, why are you striking a pose? Okay, let's move on. What the hell is that? That person dropped it off. What person? He's the director of the operas here. Everyone just calls him Impresario. He's been in a dizzy ever since that letter arrived. What does the letter say? My dear Maria, I want you for my wife. I'm coming for you, the wandering gambler. Who's this wandering... What's his name, really? You couldn't remember two words, Luke? Wandering gambler. You born on a farm, son. A blackjack playing, world traveling, casino dwelling, free spirit. His name is not Setzer. Named for Rodney Five, this is Stefan. It's not really spelled right, but I only have six characters. So you have to go with me on this one. That's Stefan, owner of the world's only airship. If we could get that airship, we'd make the Empire in no time. Let's set up a meeting with Stefan. And that's pretty much it for here in the town of Jidor. We are ready to leave, even though I had to cut off the theme music for Stefan and... God, everybody has really good theme music in this game. Let's head out of Jidor. We are going south. Uh, we need to head to the Opera House in order to get our plan going properly. And we have a new enemy here. Uh, we have an Overgrunk. I believe that is the new one. And anything that lives uh, gets a chainsaw to the face. 
and then get stolen from. And then can't use magic. Just a chainsaw will do it, apparently. Okay, fair enough. And here we do get the first magic point on screen, but nobody learned anything. I thought we were close enough so that one more would do it, but apparently we need at least one more magic point for that. And I will say this, uh, the scene that we are about to do is a lot of people's favorite scene in their favorite game. Probably be good if you paid attention. Ah, you again! Well, the opera stuff, not this scene here. I read that letter! Stefan's coming to steal her! He'll probably appear right at the climax of scene one! He loves an entrance. Oh, did I spell that there's gonna be an opera? We are at an opera house, of course. Right! If we could only grab him then! Dear me, no! You'll ruin the performance! I'll lose my job! They took our job! Then your history! This is simply horrid! I want the performance to be a success! But I don't want Maria to be abducted. No, of course not. So, let's just run away from everybody that's trying to help, apparently. We'll let him grab her. What? Not, I'm not sure I follow you. We'll use Lamia as a decoy after she's abducted. I'll follow him right to his airship. That actually sounds like a pretty good plan. Are you mad if something should happen to Maria? That... it wouldn't. That's why the decoy! That's not a full sentence, Wolsey. We'll hide Maria somewhere safe. Come again. I, uh, you said she looks like Maria, right? Why are you wagging your finger, Luke? Now, just a minute! Lamia will be our Maria! She'll lead us to the airship. Brilliant! I don't think Lamia likes this idea. Wait! I'm a general, not some opera f floozy? Opera floozy. Apparently being in the opera makes you of loose moral character. I was not aware of that stereotype. I don't think that's the right word, Wolsey. Damn it, Wolsey. I'm sure that's not the right one. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much how I sing, too. No, I'm not going to sing for you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, no. Sorry. That, that's just not going to happen. I am not a singer. By any stretch. What do I pretend to be? Not bad, Lamia. I'll pretend to be Stefan and foil that little plan. Ultros again. What the hell is he doing here? That's one hell of a throwing I mean, out there. Let's get ready. Lamia, it's showtime. Is yeah, off of it. No. Come on, read it. No, Ultros, I will not read it. And now it is time for the opera. Listen to that music. Like I said, this is a lot of people's favorite scene, so I'm probably going to be especially quiet during this scene. Try to let the music sink in from time to time. But I will still be narrating. It's going to be slow, though. The West and East. We're waging war. Draco, the West's great hero, thinks of his love, Maria. Is she safe? Is she waiting?
it's back to us out here. That was one hell of a singing voice, I must say, sir. Knight. How are you doing? I'm going to the dressing room. Is everything okay? Surely. Go, go right ahead. Why is everyone singing? That's a good question, Elvis. So, let's head back to the dressing room. That is, isn't this the way? Oh, no. That's the way forward. <laughs> I remember. I totally remember. They came from down here. There we go. There's not a door there. Freaking throws me off. So, let's head over here. You can see that the letter is gone from Ultro. So, let's head over here into the dressing room. Maria, are you ready? Oh my. Hi, yeah, yeah. Is that you? Luke, why did you help me escape back there? I once abandoned someone when she needed me. You're still blushing, Luke. Somewhere inside you were saving her, weren't you? That ribbon suits you. On with the show! This is a big scene in which Maria senses that something's happened to Draco. You better check the score one last time. Can I check it? Read the score, yes. Scene one. Oh my hero, so far away now will I ever see your smile. Love go goes away like night and today. It's just a fading dream. I'm the darkness, you're the stars. Our love is brighter than the sun. For eternity, for me there can be only you. My chosen one. Must I forget you? Our solemn promise? Will autumn take the place of spring? What shall I do? I'm lost without you. Speak to me once more. Here you pick up the flowers. Climb the stairs on the balcony high atop the, the castle. Raise the flowers to the stars. Here you have just moments before scene two starts. The impresario. Scene two. Okay. So, did you catch that? Because even though we don't have to memorize the lines, possibly? I, I, I don't remember if you have to memorize the lines. You do have to memorize the actions. So, let's move on. And we will make our operatic debut. The forces of the West fell, and Maria's castle was taken. Prince Rals of the East took her hand by force, but she never stopped yearning for Draco. The next line is... Oh my hero, 